Hey, it's my back on this video. As I see by the title today, I am finally giving y'all a hygiene routine. y'all been asking me for one for the longest this is my hygiene routine i've been using for years now happy vlogmas day 11 we are almost halfway there a couple disclaimers what works for you is not probably gonna work for somebody else i know y'all probably see everybody say this every hygiene routine drink your water and when i tell y'all it, sh it shows it's a difference i'm telling y'all it's a difference in your skin in your hair in your the way you act it's a difference the way you wake up like it's a difference make sure y'all drink y'all water and a good hack if you're not a big water drinker get a water bottle like get a cup i usually have a big water bottle i'm gonna put it on the screen right here get this put ice in it put water in it your water will be so cold and good if you're not a good water drinker i'm telling y'all get a water bottle and it will help you drink a lot more water and this one i specifically recommend as well because it keeps your water like cold cold for like hours so i just had to tell y'all drink out water and then next vitamins sometimes i like to try new vitamins here and there but these are the vitamins i've been using as of right now it's hair and skin and nails gummies those are the vitamins i use so for oral hygiene i use two toothpastes now the first toothpaste i use is this one it has baking soda in it if y'all do go and buy this i'm telling y'all it's gonna taste nasty like it's not gonna taste good it's still gonna have like the minty flavor to it but it's not gonna taste good but it works so good to clean your teeth to make your teeth white this works so good to really get your teeth clean now for like the breath and the minty flavor I'll go in with this Colgate toothpaste. Works so good. Makes my breath smell so fresh. Makes my tongue fresh. Everything. A tongue scraper. Make sure y'all get a tongue scraper. This tongue scraper I definitely recommend to everybody. Make sure y'all scrape your tongue. Makes a significant difference. Nobody wants a white tongue. And white tongues also come from not drinking enough water. So make sure y'all drink enough water, okay? After I go in my toothpaste, I'll use this mouthwash just listerine mouthwash so that's it for oral hygiene now let's get into my shower routine so first thing for my shower routine is i wash my face outside the shower this is a face wash i use i've been using this face wash for a while now this is a face wash i only use it's really good for acne before i wash my face you have to wash your hands i use this also to wash my hands i also use a nail scraper if you watch me for a while y'all probably never see me without nails because these are my real nails and these be my real nails like bacteria can build up in your nails really really easily dirt can build up in your nails really really easily this is why a nail scraper or a nail brush is really really needed you can get these off of amazon they're really cheap when you're about to wash your face always wash your hands when you're washing your hands also scrub underneath your nails on top of your nails I'm telling y'all no matter what if you wear nails a lot you need one of them okay especially when you're eating seafood when you're eating wings like all that food and bacteria is stuck in there washing your hands and doing this is not gonna work you need a nail brush after i wash my hands wash my face i wash my face with hot water and a rag i will usually use a white rag but i don't really feel like going to get a white rag this was just right here rinse with cold water like extremely cold water after i wash my face i go ahead and get in the shower so now for the stuff i use i'm not gonna give out my whole like hair care routine or my whole curly hair routine so this is a shampoo and conditioner i use i'm not gonna lie i have heard some bad and good things about this shampoo and conditioner this is not the only shampoo and conditioner i use i switch up my shampoo and conditioner so much but those are my shampoo conditioner that i use the most often i don't have no more left the company actually sent me some and i just haven't had time to buy it offline again but i definitely recommend these i also go with some olaplex as well and then for the hair growth oil usually this hair oil i've gone through so many of this hair oil 
I'm known a significant difference in like my scalp and my hair growth and everything. I definitely recommend that hair growth oil. This will have your hair smelling so good. Literally, if you have your natural hair out, if you got some braids in or anything, like you can really just spray it scalp on your braids hair will be smelling so good if you have your natural hair out spray your natural hair with it it's smelling so good especially if y'all have like a slick back in or something spray a little bit of this and i'm telling y'all y'all hair will be shiny and your hair will smell so good that is it for hair care now let's get into my actual like shower routine i do wash my hair in the shower but let's get into my actual like body care shower routine right when i get in the shower first thing i do you can never go wrong from dr runners i just got a new one too I haven't tried none of the other scents. This is the only scent I've ever tried. I don't really like trying new body care stuff. Once I stick to one thing, I stick to it for a while until I get myself to try something new. But yes, Dr. Bronner's and then I'll go in with an exfoliating rag. I use a lot of exfoliating stuff. You do not need all this exfoliating stuff and you do not need to exfoliate your body this much every single shower. That's a disclaimer because it will dry your skin out over time and you don't want that. But First, when I get in the shower, I will use this. This will have you feeling so fresh, so clean. It will have your skin squeakly clean, but it doesn't moisturize. Now, it takes all the moisture out. And then I go in with a rag and sensitive dove soap and I will wash down there. I wash everywhere again, but mainly down there. I only use sensitive dove soap for down there. I've never really been a big fan of feminine washes. Maybe I haven't found the right one. After I go in with my dove sensitive soap, then I go in with my body washes. So, I'm going to show y'all my top body washes. This is the body washes I use. I don't use all of these in one shower. I just vary. It depends on, like, what season it is, how I'm feeling, what time of the day it is, you know. I use exfoliating gloves, and I only use um, Dove body wash. So, this is my number one body wash. If y'all have been watching me for a while, this literally smells like coconut. It smells like cocoa butter. Like, it smells so so good to me if you're not a big fan of like cocoa butter and stuff like that you're probably not gonna like it but i'm telling y'all i love it it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized so now i use that mainly in the winter time for the summertime i will go in with a renewing one this is the one i use it smells so good leave your skin soft but it doesn't moisturize that much as y'all see how this says like restoring and this says like renewing that's what it does this restores your moisture for sure and this kind of like just makes you feel more clean for more like um fresh feeling and that's why i use one mainly in the summer or if i'm taking a shower in the morning i will use this body wash for this body wash i just found and i've never seen this body wash before like i've never seen this body wash and it's so crazy because it was on the top shelf and it was like the last one but it was so randomly like just right there like god just wanted me to pick it snow blossom it smells so good first it smells like if you were to smell some flowers this is how it smells. And not only does it smell good, it will leave your skin so moisturized. Like, I don't know what they put in that to make your skin that moisturized, like that moisturized after a shower. But that your skin will be like so hydrated, so moisturized. Those are the body washes I use now. For scented body washes, I just recently picked these up. What I'm about to show y'all, I only go on with my arms and my legs. So the first one I want to show you is this rose. This rose water and pink sea salt. I'm so congested, y'all. And it's 3.40 in the morning. I'm trying not to, y'all. Hold on. And it's like, I can't blow my nose. It's just like a night thing. Like, I get congested at night a lot. I definitely recommend this. I use um, a loofah for, like, the scented body washes. Because I don't like using, like, one rag or one thing for all my body washes. Because I don't use all my body washes in the same spots, you know? So, this one smells so good. And it's a scrub and wash in one. But I only use it really mainly for the scent. It will leave you smelling like like so fresh and then for the next one i recently just started using this one like literally recently it takes me a while to really try something new for my body because if it's working perfectly fine i don't really like switching it up too much this smells so good it will leave your skin and you smelling fresh like flowers i'm telling y'all smells really refreshing depending on how i'm feeling in a time of day i will go in with a thousand wishes um shower gel only on my arms and my legs and this is the main one i use i love it smells so good it smells like so rich so good you will turn heads with this scent. so that's it for body washes next i'll go in with an exfoliant these are the two body scrubs i recommend of course you can never go wrong with some tree hut scrub i honestly really don't care what scent it is tree hut scrubs is gonna work 
either way no matter the scent no matter what kind you get it's gonna work like literally true Hut scrub are probably the best scrub but it doesn't moisturize like it's a good scrub don't get me wrong but it doesn't moisturize this one i just recently got like a couple months ago and it smells so good but it also moisturizes your body like really good so those are the scrubs that i mainly use depending on how i'm feeling I definitely do not use a body scrub every shower do not exfoliate so much every shower it would dry your skin out so after i use my body scrub i go ahead and shave unpropular opinion i know a lot of people do this like majority of people do this they will shave and then exfoliate that i feel like that kind of takes away from the exfoliating because you're supposed to really exfoliate first to get all the dead skin cells all the things make your skin soft and then shave like in popular opinion i cannot exfoliate after i shave i feel like it irritates especially when your skin is raw like you literally just shaved and you're finna like go over it with exfoliant that's just an unpopular opinion i just had to put that in there right quick but you know everybody's different again i'm gonna put y'all on but if y'all are struggling with razor bumps irritation itchiness i'm gonna put y'all on first the razor i use this razor from venus specifically for pubic and skin hair works immaculate and then right along with it don't mind the top i would only use dove sensitive body bar soap or like dub body wash or just soap to shave and I would like get razor bumps I would have itchiness and I was like okay maybe let me just try shaving creams I started trying shaving creams again made it worse made my skin irritated like especially when you have sensitive skin I just couldn't do it then I was like okay let me try a shave gel let me just try a shave gel first shave gel I try 10 out of 10 I don't be having no problems with shaving no more like literally shaving routine down pat with this combo i'm telling y'all there i got thick hair too another thing i love using this to shave down there is unscented like very unscented it has no scent to it it's for sensitive skin you can use it as a cleanser too but i don't and it works so good literally my skin after i shave with that is like a 10 out of 10 i'm telling y'all for my armpits or my underarms i don't shave i wax this is a wax kit i use i've been waxing for two years now and i have not gone back to shaving i have not gone back to shaving nothing i struggled with darker underarms and like hyperpigmentation under my armpits but waxing and exfoliating works immaculate like i'm telling y'all if y'all even y'all don't even need a body scrub to exfoliate i do definitely recommend a tree hut body scrub to exfoliate your underarms not the other one i showed y'all only because the other one i showed y'all is more moisturizing i definitely recommend over a body scrub any day a good exfoliant rag and dr bonner soap just scrub underneath there really really good hyperpigmentation will go down it will go down i'm telling y'all especially while waxing at the same time with this wax kit and then i've also known is like ever since i started waxing the hair has gone down like it has gotten thinner that's another thing when i shave my hair will grow back within like a day or two days but with waxing mm -mm, lasts so much longer i'm telling y'all if y'all already haven't go ahead and just try out waxing but also do your research too do your research with waxing as well because waxing can also be a bad thing if you're doing it wrong so just make sure you know what you're doing but after i shave and did all my shower care stuff shower care routine once i get out the shower i go ahead and go straight into my skincare so i already washed my face before i got in the shower because i like to let my skin breathe a little bit i don't really like to go straight into my skincare so i use tretinoid it's for acne it's for acne scars for acne in general that's what clears my acne up i'll go in with that on my face this is the moisturizer i use for my face when i do put my tretinoid on and then i go in with my moisturizer i don't put that much moisturizer on sometimes i don't even put moisturizer on i'll just go with the tretinoid the reason why is because i've noticed i've tried going to sleep with nothing on my face literally nothing and still wake up with a greasy face still wake up with an oily face i just feel like my pores would be clogged when i go to sleep that's why i don't put that much moisturizer on when i go to sleep i know some people say put moisturizer on a lot of it and then we wake up your skin is glowy but i only put a little bit on and sometimes i would put no moisturizer on and then for my lip care i use this lip scrub nico lips you can get this off amazon at first i'm not gonna lie i did not like it i really didn't because i was like this doesn't even work but i was using it wrong i was using too much of it you're really only supposed to use like a little bit of it and then scrub your lips with it works so good It'll leave your lips pink soft and yeah and then i'll just go in with some vaseline 
or this hydro lock overnight lip mask by spoiled child let's go ahead and go into body care so right when i got a shower if i've shaved i will go in with virgin 100 virgin raw coconut oil i use the little tube one i get it from beauty supply store and it's the one where you have to like dig your finger in it and it melts it in your hand. Like that's how raw it is. I will use that after I shave. That's a good moisturizer after you shave. And then after I do that, I will go in with my bio oil. I just recently started using bio oil like this year. And I've already noticed a difference in my skin. It's more even looking. It's very, very much more hydrated. Even without putting a whole bunch of like hydration on. Like it's just naturally hydrated. St scars, stress marks, uneven skin tone, aging, dehydration skin and all that stuff i don't put this on my skin for my body i will go everywhere with this literally this is probably my top favorite hygiene product is this lotion when i tell y'all this lotion is 100 recommended if you're a type of girl that likes to be glowy if you like thicker lotion definitely recommend this lotion i'm not gonna lie when i was like little i used to not like putting lotion on for real my mom would have to force it on me and i'm so glad she forced it on me because now thank her because i love this i love putting lotion on now i love being hydrated especially this literally you could just use this and your skin will be so glowy like it will look like you put oil on when using this and it also has like a more of like a, a fresher scent to it after i go in with my intensely enriched lotion Lotion, I go in with my body butter. Now, I have a lot of recommendations. I don't use all of them at the same time. I'll use one of them just depending, just depending on the season, the time of the day, and everything. So, first, body butter. I mainly use this for the scent of it because it doesn't really moisturize me that good. Like, this smells really, really good. I will either use that one or this one as well. I mainly use this one in the summertime. It smells, like, really good. It also moisturizes you really good. And then, I will also either go in with... This is empty. I will also go in with this body butter. This is more of, like, a moisturizing one. And then, if I'm feeling, like, a little fancy, like... If I'm going out somewhere public, I will use this one, especially in the summer too. A Thousand Wishes from Bath and Body Works. It has shea butter and cocoa butter mixed together. Smells so good. This will have people turning their heads. Using this together, layering your scents is going to have you smelling so good. I don't use this at night because again, I don't like going to sleep with a whole bunch of scents on. And also, it's the glow lotion body butter and the reason why it's called glow lotion is because it really makes you glow it has more i'm gonna put it on my hands so i can show y'all it has like a glitter -y effect on it see if it'll show up on camera oh y'all can see the glitter like y'all can just see it without even focusing like look how glittery it is the deodorant i use is this one i always i've always used the green deodorant sometimes i'll switch it up sometimes here and there but this scent is a white flowers and leech scent this scent smells really really good but it's not my favorite my favorite scent is the shower fresh one that one smells literally like you fresh out the shower it smells so good and it's really really strong as well right after my body butters after everything for my feet i'll also put all my body butters on my lotion on my feet but i also like to use vaseline vaseline will have your feet feeling like baby soft i also recommend if you struggle with eczema or if you have sometimes eczema flare-ups i definitely recommend cortisone when i do get eczema i will use cortisone and i will put it on my eczema it'll itch a little bit burn and then like once the itching and burn goes away you go to sleep you wake up the next morning not as itchy not as irritated especially because eczema be so itchy like it be so itchy but with cortisone y'all i'm telling y'all it will help it so much i love it literally saves me i use a lot of different perfumes but for my top favorite perfume my go-to perfumes of course y'all already know i'm gonna pull off y'all been watching me for a while mm -hmm. good girl perfume 10 out of 10 my favorite scent ever will always be using this will always use this when you spray this it smells it just smells so rich that's all i gotta say it smells rich it's like more of like a masculine but feminine kind of scent you know and then i also love this bear perfume 
by Victoria's Secret. This one smells clean but warm at the same time. I love this scent. It smells so good. I love it. And then for like scented body lotion, definitely recommend. I got this a while back. I don't really use that much, of course, because I don't put this all over my body. I only put this like, like right here maybe maybe like sometimes like right here i definitely recommend this one okay y'all so that's the end of the video hopefully y'all enjoy this hygiene routine if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to ask them you can also dm me on instagram if you guys need help with anything that i mentioned and hopefully i didn't miss anything i think i covered about literally everything in regarding my hygiene routine hopefully y'all are enjoying vlogging with so far we're almost halfway there i will see y'all in my next video hope y'all enjoyed it bye y'all Man, my life is a mess. Ain't been returning the text, so she been reading the press. She got Google alerts, and shit's go straight to her phone. She worry about me from home. You know she raised me alone. She said I heard you back when you know who. I told her girl I'm always back when you know who. Yeah, and she like.